What's up everyone, China Cycling here. Super quick video today. So last week this happened. I saw a guy selling secondhand Insta 360R pretty cheap, so I made a money transfer to the guy and gave him my address. Then just hours later, NorCal Cycling uploads a video reviewing the camera for cycling. I was so pumped. I was sure he was gonna say it was great. You know, GoPro has the stabilization down. I don't know what else to say. These other cameras are just playing second fiddle. They're just playing catch up. Ah, uh, Anyway, mine arrived. I basically just tossed the 4K mod into the trash as per his recommendation and was just having fun with the 360 mode and yada, yada, yada. But then I thought, well, how bad can the 4K mod be? Oh, okay then. Yeah, that's... That's pretty bad. But then after a 10 second Google, I realized you actually had to put the footage into either the mobile app or the PC app for processing. Eh, voila. Super smooth footage. You can even speed it up and make some smooth motion blurred hyperlapse footage. Now, this doesn't automatically redeem the 360R to me. It should do this stabilization in the camera. Jeff's not a dumb guy and he has hundreds of videos on YouTube, so obviously knows how to edit. If he can't figure it out in 10 seconds, then it's probably too complicated. However, I think reviewers should also be held more accountable. This issue literally just took me 10 seconds of Googling to find a solution. And when you're putting out a video to your audience of over 60,000 subscribers, I think there's some responsibility to represent the product fairly and do your research. I looked through the comments under his video to see if anyone else has pointed this out, but couldn't find anything on the first few pages. Well, apart from this one funny comment. Anyway, I have no beef with Jeff. He could out sprint me with one leg on a rest day, so I'm not looking for a fight. Nor do I think he cares, to be honest. His Insta360 video is probably his worst performing video over the past year, and I'm sure he just did it to put some food on the table. I've included his affiliate link for the 360R below, so if you are thinking about buying one, please use that link. He gets a little commission, and it costs you guys the same amount. If you haven't seen it already, go and watch his video about the 360R, because I think everything he said still holds true. I'm sure a response video of NorCal Cycling's least popular video will also be my least popular video, but for the seven or eight people who are still watching this video, let me know if you want to see a full review of the camera from me. I paid for mine with my own cash, and so far, I'm loving it. Anyway, that's all for today. I've got a new video reviewing the Sensor Gravel group set coming out in two days, so stay tuned for that. China Cycling, out.